everybody! This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Guess what time it is? Pulse Motor Build Off here. Not all this stuff, that's another day. Right here, last uh, time we did this. Uh, this is hopefully going to be an annual event. It's uh, held by RWGResearch.com and Open-Source-Energy.org and also 10 Man from uh, International Alternative Energy Center that's I-A-E-C, if you look it up. We uh, did this Pulse Motor Build Off. We had a great old time, and I'm excited to announce we're doing it again. Hopefully in time. We're having it in one month. We're going to hopefully not go over Christmas, and this will give people prizes before Christmas time. Awesome Christmas gift. Interestingly, we have two judges so far, and guess what? One of them is Mark Danzi. Believe that or not. Okay, that is cool, Mark. Freaking awesome. I don't know who pulled what string and where, but great job. Uh, the second one is Zero Fossil Fuel. Again, he was a judge last time, and I greatly appreciate him doing that. I think he had a fun time, and I think he'll have another fun time. I'm going to try to go through this real quick, give you rules and regulations, but make sure you go to one of the two forums and look at the rules there in case anything has, I missed said anything, okay? So these are not the official rules. The official rules are there. Read them. Make sure you understand them. The one thing that is going to happen, Gary Hendershot from the Smart Scarecrow Show is actually going to give the winners, three of them, 15 minutes of fame. There's going to be a whole presentation sometime after the build-off where you guys will get your chance to go give yourself a shout-out and give whoever wants to give a shout-out. It's going to be awesome. All right, uh, prizes. Right now, this will change, I guarantee it, as people uh, pitch in. The prizes right now, first place gets 100 bucks. Oh, I'm sorry. First place gets two hundred dollars. Second place gets a hundred bucks, and third gets fifty bucks. Now, I guarantee you, somebody will be pitching in, and prices will probably start adding up and things and stuff. And I think last time Kyle gave away solar panels. I think Jim won. Freaking awesome! Like people are awesome. So if uh, if you got any prizes you want to donate, let me know or Ten Man know. Post it on the forums. Get with us, and uh, that'd be cool. All right. So uh, all right. The rules. First of all, the ending, you can post progress videos, but the ending needs to be less than four minutes. Three to four minute video of your setup. That is it. If you go over that time limit, you will be disqualified because if we have a lot of entries, it took forever to go through those videos last time. Thanks, Zero, for spending four hours just watching videos. And both of our wives, Tin Man and myself. Um, oh, post questions over at the forums if you have any, and 10 men will respond. Uh, let's see, building rules. Capacitor to be used where run battery be placed on the pulse motor. Alright, so if, you have, if you're going to be running it off of a battery like my setup right now, it has to be either a capacitor or some other type of uh, energy source. Alright, uh, run capacitor can be charged by these methods. Here's the trick. One by way of homemade battery. So you can create a homemade battery to charge a capacitor. Um, and yes, and then for, therefore you will run your pulse motor off of that. Um, two, by way of homemade transformer. Okay, you can build your own transformer and transport, transmit power to your capacitor that way for running your pulse motor. Three, by the way of single wire charging. And by the way, I'm reading these in order of basically more points or less points, starting low to high. Uh, so uh, single wire charging, single single wire charging, like Tesla. Um, by way of wireless transmission antennas, basically Tesla again. So actually transmitting uh, and receiving wireless power through these little coil setups that you see people building. Five, by the way of spark gap. Okay, so if you have a spark gap and you're transmitting power to your charge device, capacitor, or homemade battery, then that is awesome. You can do that as well. Okay, um, and spark gap needs to be decent size, not, not little piddly stuff, none of that. Uh, by the way, of onboard generator, so if you have some device that creates power and you're able to charge your system, great. I have a demonstration right now where I'm actually charging this other motor with that motor. I'll show you. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, by way of static charge, so static electricity charging a capacitor and running your device, that is game on as well. And that's even the highest on the list. 
Actually, that'd probably be the most easiest, to be honest. Um, no, the more conventional, the more points gained. Okay, output power. Uh, one, to be charged, oh, to be charging a battery, low points. To be running lights, average points. To be running another pulse motor, high points. So, that's what I'm doing here. Now, the thing is, is you have to build a new setup. This can't be something that you've had. Now, if you have something that works real well and you want to replicate it and change it up a little bit, that's okay, but it has to be new, okay? The start date is 9-21-2012, all right? The end date is 10-21-2012, uh, so Thursday, you get a jump start on it, and you got all month, okay? And you have to have your entry in by 10-22-2012, all right? So if you look at the forums, they'll have times on there. Pick one and go by that time midnight, all right? That's it. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you. I want to try to run through this. Uh, Smart Scarecrow, thank you, buddy, for uh, promoting this event. And Mark Danzi and Zero Fossil Fuel. What the heck, man? This is going to be, hopefully, an annual event, maybe even twice a year. Um, so right now, we've done this twice this year already. I, we've had a blast. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So real quickly, I'll show you what I built, last pulse motor. This thing is running off of this little 12-volt, 7-amp-hour battery. All this fun circuitry and craziness. I'm only using half of these and one half of this coil. And uh, this thing's just buzzing right along you can't even see it spinning it's actually just sitting on one axis the bottom is not actually touching anything and I have one of the coils connected through one diode running out to this little little pulse motor this is what I call the little guy little starship coils and reed switches awesome awesome fun little pulse motor um, so that's it I try to keep it short but my goodness I'm up to seven minutes already sorry um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys later. This is Russ with RWGResearch.com, Tin Man with uh, IAEC, if I said that right, and the end. Thanks for watching. Uh, check the description. You'll have all the information you need. Good luck, builders. Have some fun. That's what it's about. Having fun.